And here is the review for Zoid's Godos. Um, it's a, in the fiction, this was a contemporary to the much larger Gojulus, but they share the same sort of Godzilla-esque body design. Um, as you can see from the bit comparison, it's significantly smaller. Uh, very small, very, very easy to assemble. Um, a good first kit, even though it wasn't my first, it was actually uh, the second one I ever did. And it's still the only one I have that has the wind-up motor rather than battery-powered. Just give it a couple winds. And it'll go... It's actually fairly efficient. Uh, you don't have to wind it up too much for it to get going. Um, so this this one's pretty neat because it actually has two configurations and uh, it actually comes with two pilot figures, which is why I didn't start with the pilot out. But what you want to do is just pull this little guy out and then you take the head off, back guns, uh, this gun, and this gun. And then working kind of backwards, put on this radar dish and this large cannon and then this backpack and this head already has a pilot inside. You put that on and then this poor bastard sits completely undefended in the back. <laughs> um, and that's sort of what, what I call the beta configuration. I don't know if there's an a any actual name for it. But um, this is the one I, I don't like this setup as much. Um, about the only thing I do like more is, is this bigger gun on, on what's the far side now, but you know. Uh, the, the radar dish is kind of weird, just hanging off the side of the tail. Um, the head is much more angular. I kind of like the, the blocky look more. and Or not the blocky, but the, the smoother look more of this one. And, um, you know, these are really designed to be war machines. So I have no idea. It, it seems silly that this guy's completely unprotected here in the back. And then this guy the windscreen is so much bigger, or the canopy, I should say, is so much bigger that you have a clear shot at him from the front uh, since it, it's almost completely open in the front as far as what you can see. But, you know, I guess that does increase pilot visibility. Um, from a toy perspective, I also don't like it nearly as much because, as you can see, that guy just falls right out, <laughs> just going to wind it. And if it had walked a bit further, oops, yeah, he just he just doesn't stay on at all. <laughs> so I, I usually leave it in the the first configuration. So stay still. Um. Eh. Anyway. Um. He, he's pretty neat though. Um, he's, he's kind of a pain to assemble at first because all the pieces want to fall apart. There's nothing really holding it together. And then, you know, kind of once you get about two thirds of the way through everything, you start putting on all the little rubber caps that are kind of one, one of the trademarks of Zoid's construction uh, that start, that kind of hold everything together. And then, you know, it starts coming together a lot more and, at the end, it's just, it's a really cool looking, especially for such a small uh, model uh, and, and for something so simple. It, it's pretty cool. You know, I, I I love Godzilla, so I love the Godzilla design that's kind of the, that this carries over and that is the signature of the Gojulis series, uh, although this isn't a true Gojulis. Um, but there you have it, Zoid's Godos.